Centuries ago, space was nothing more than a mysterious and deadly void, its emptiness stretching between pockets of isolated life. The dawn of space travel, though a perilous endeavor, has not quashed the incredible spirit of exploration leading to collaborations and innovation in every corner of the universe. In this season of An Interloper's Guide, we will explore some of the most prominent civilizations found today, providing travelers with an overview of their origins, territories, and community activities. Welcome to An Interloper's Guide to Civilizations, Episode 2, The Brolo Republic. This is Nolo Nova, a system of four planets located within the Esbrook region of the Isentam galaxy. Its known history dates back over 47 million cycles from today, starting with its discovery and subsequent colonization by Agent Corvax. Nola Nova's lush planet Brolodice played an important role within this ancient colony, becoming the site of a major settlement. The planet's largely metallic composition enabled Korvax settlers to build a magnificent city, its grandeur rivaling that of their homeworld of Korvax Prime. These towering buildings and the heavy mining operations necessary to build them put a heavy strain on the planet's ecosystem, polluting the soil and water sources that many of the native plants and animals depended upon. To facilitate the complex infrastructure required to maintain such a city, the Corvax integrated the planet's metallic core into Corvax Prime's mainframe, a move that would eventually become their undoing. With the destruction of the Corvax homeworld, the sentient planet was able to break free of its bonds and gain control of the very same systems it was enslaved by. Brola Dice, registering the immense destruction caused by the Corvax presence, began to initiate an aggressive response. It used the Corvax systems to build large factories capable of manufacturing an army of biomechanical creatures known as Reapers. These Reapers attacked the Corvax without restraint, obliterating all evidence of their existence on Brola Dice and driving many of the Corvax citizens underground or off planet. Today, it is suspected that the remnants of the ancient Corvax city may remain underground, the only surviving evidence of a once thriving civilization. Despite these speculations, no authority will fund an excavation, owing to the still lingering presence of the Reaper descendants on the planet, a species called the Netwood V420. Though they now appear to be in a docile state following the recovery of the ecosystem, it is unknown what actions could initiate their hostile form. Netwood V420 are four meters tall, much smaller than their Reaper ancestors, who are believed to have reached heights as great as 26 meters. In spite of the planet's violent history, the Corvax would not be the only colonist to grace Brola Dice's lush terrain. A few years ago, the planet was settled by a budding new community of travelers, a collective that became known as the Brolo Republic. Many of its members originate from the planet Earth, located within the Sol system of the Milky Way galaxy, and yearn to settle on a planet with similar qualities. Drawn to Brola Dice by its flourishing grasslands, abundant bodies of water, and varied terrain, the Brola Republic enjoyed a period of peace and prosperity. Brola Dice was a close match to Earth. However, its green skies and the constant threat of the Reaper's reawakening supported the decision for the community to move to a new home, an endeavor not without its challenges. Each community member embarked on their own perilous journey, traversing through hostile space to different galaxies in hopes of finding the Republic's new home. After months of searching, the community discovered Naboo, 
a lush planet within the Yuhor Spur region of the Euclid Galaxy. The planet resides within a binary star system of the same name and is orbited by a toxic moon, Geiss. Naboo's planetary core is surrounded by tectonic plates that support the planet's continental landmasses and deep oceans, a geological composition similar to Earth. Both terrestrial and aquatic biomes support healthy ecosystems of plants and animals, and many of these life forms possess an ancient ancestry dating back approximately 1.2 billion years. On arrival to Naboo, members of the Brolo Republic discovered that they were not the only civilization to have claimed the planet as their second home. This is Riften, a sprawling mansion complex built by survivors of the destruction of Korvax Prime. Fleeing the Firstborn's onslaught, a group of Korvax citizens managed to narrowly escape the slaughter, departing Korvax Prime through a wormhole on the freighter FS Atlantis J37. Emerging in the Drogo 3 system, light years from the battle, the crew identified the most habitable planet, Cilia, and began colonizing its iridescent grasslands. The planet's tropical climate sustained a variety of psychoactive flora, a resource that the Korvac settlers used in trading, selling large quantities in exchange for building materials. With credits coming in and the construction of their settlement well underway, the Korvacs enjoyed a brief period of freedom and tranquility before an unsettling discovery was made. Cilia's ecosystem was dying, corrupted by the deadly element Atlantidium, an unstoppable shower of prismatic grains that could decimate the planet within months and the entire system within a year. With no other choice, the crew abandoned their settlement, boarding the Atlantis J37 and heading into the wormhole for the final time. Their journey brought them to Naboo, and it is here that they have lived since, peacefully tending their gardens as works on the rift and mansion completed. The Korvac settlers openly welcomed the Brolo Republic to Naboo, and both civilizations coexisted on the planet for a short while. The Brolo Republic's numbers grew, and before long their rising population led to the founders deciding to expand their civilization to another system, to ensure ample resources for all. Knowledge of this system is closely guarded by a select few, but our documentary crew are honored to be able to bring you these exclusive images. New members of the Brolo Republic civilization choose a specific faction on joining, and each faction offers a different ethos to suit all travelers' aspirations. The Seekers' Convergence are heavily influenced by the Korvax race and hold knowledge in the highest regard. Exploration and documentation are the lifeblood of this faction, with all members striving to seek knowledge and peace amongst the stars. Members of the Gragan faction are fierce warriors who endeavor to aid freedom fighters across the galaxy. Honor and peace are cornerstones of the Gragang's ethos, beliefs that also hold weight in Viking culture. Whereas the Seekers' convergence value the work of Sentinels, the Gragan feels very differently, actively working to wipe Sentinels from civilized space. The final faction within the Brolo Republic civilization is the Brolo Bazaar, a group focused on growing successful businesses within the galaxy. With many connections to reputable Gek merchants, the Brolo Bazaar offers a variety of services including agricultural produce, investment services, mining and manufacturing. In this episode, we have uncovered the rich history of the Brolo Republic, yet this only scratches the surface of the community's written documentation and lore. Joining the Republic is easy, and travelers interested in learning more about the civilization 
can discover further information in the video description. Join us next episode as we explore the tournaments of another prominent civilization inhabiting many corners of the galaxy, the Ultimate Feud Enterprise. Until then, as always, have fun, stay safe, and be curious. If you enjoyed this episode, remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss the next one.